Finally tonight, essayist M. I. Wallach, the art critic of New York Newsday, looks at an artist who takes herself very seriously. In 1982, when she was 70 years old, Louise Bourgeois became the first woman ever to be honored with a retrospective exhibition at New York's Museum of Modern Art. In the nearly dozen years since then, she has made some of her most potent and influential sculpture. She has secured her place as one of our leading living artists by so nakedly and honestly looking within herself and using herself as a model that what she has to say becomes universal. My model is really mine here. I, I measure this and I, I say, well, I didn't reserve enough room to put, to put uh, the, the jaws or I will never get uh, uh, the, the, the bridge of the nose and the lips and so on. I never get my, my profile. I don't have enough. It's too short. It's too this. It's too that. So it is a fight. It, it is a fight with, 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 with uh, your notion of what you need. What you need and what you get is not the same. You need something, you want something, and you get something else. This summer, in a garden off the Grand Canal, the sculpture of Louise Bourgeois officially represented the United States at the Venice Biennale the oldest and most famous of the international art extravaganzas. The traveling exhibition is only the latest in a fast-growing list of tributes to the French-born artist who has witnessed and sometimes led the century's major art currents, from Picasso's Paris to Jackson Pollock's New York to the art of the 90s, which Bourgeois has taught to get you in the gut. If I have to explain to you that this is a little creature, right, I do that because it is as usual. It is. It is. Uh, it is just started. If if this, let us suppose this is finished, right? And then somebody comes and say, "What do you mean? What is it?" You see, this is exasperating because if they do not react, if they do not have an emotional reaction to the thing, then I fail. It means it is not up to me to explain my work. That's not my role. Louise Bourgeois has always used her experience as a woman and the knowledge of her woman's body in her art. She married the art historian Robert Goldwater in 1938, made good her escape from France to New York, and started a new family of three sons. Her sculpture populated her exile. The sculptures were release and expression. More recently, as the women's movement created a climate more welcoming to such intimacies, She's expanded the reach of her universal themes and of modern art. And although they have always been innovative in their form and use of materials, that was never the point. The point was that they were about something to which we could connect on the deepest of levels. And that is the reason bourgeois art will endure.